about the hiddenness of God. If God is so important to us, why shouldn't God make it more obvious that he exists? It's more his fault that we don't believe in him than ours. Well, I mean, the fact is the vast majority of the world's people do believe in God or something like God. So it's not that God is hidden in the sense that nobody knows about him or believes in him. All kinds of people do, I suppose, as I say, the vast majority of the world's people. Um, God isn't as plain to us as other people, let's say, or as, um, I don't know, trees and houses and material objects. But why think that he would have to be? I mean, there's got to be more to this argument than just that. That's not, uh, that's, as it stands, seems to me not much of an argument at all. He might have a good reason for uh, being relatively hidden, hidden to the degree that he is, which, as I'm suggesting, isn't all that great. Well, if to an atheist who maybe is genuine who really would like to believe but doesn't see the evidence, the, the argument is that if God really wanted me to believe, he, he, he would uh, make it obvious to me. There's a million different ways he could do that. Well, no doubt there is. Uh, but uh, also, um, our world is in many ways a fallen world. There are diseases. There, um, there are cognitive deficiencies of various kind, various kinds, and I'm inclined to think not believing in God is one of those. <laughs> I mean, the natural human condition would be, as Calvin says, Calvin speaks of a sense of divinity, a sensus divinitatis, would be to believe in God in a totally uh, wholehearted, implicit fashion. But due to the same sorts of things to which diseases are due, do ultimately, says Calvin, and I agree with him, due to the entrance of sin into the world, um, sometimes our cognitive faculties, in particular those having to do with God and other people, don't function. <laughs>